Hello everyone, my name is Maria. Have you asked yourself, what is the meaning of life? Why are we here? What is the purpose of all this? These were questions that came to my mind since a very young age, and it was not until that I could actually find a perspective that was beyond myself that these answers began to come. People are living such busy lives without feeling any true meaning or significance, so they live with unhappiness and unsatisfaction. In order to live with a truly meaningful and happy life, we need to see a perspective beyond ourselves, the perspective of the world, to see what is truly valuable, everlasting. Today, I'd like to share with you the way we can be truly alive and find the most meaningful life. Meaning of life. Everyone is born into this world, lives, and then just dies. Death means to disappear. That's what death is. The reason and purpose of being born into the world and living is to achieve human completion and live eternally. If one does not live eternally, then one's life has no meaning. When one becomes complete and lives forever, works in the true world and lives, one's life has meaning. Yes, so what is the meaning of life? Why are we here? These questions were the ones that were always in my mind since a very early age. And I remember when I was around the age of 13, my brother who was always there for me, middle child with me, protected me, was suddenly one day in a car accident and he was in a coma for over a year. This made me ask these questions more than ever. I sought out all the people who I thought would know the answers. I sought out priests, counselors, all the people who I thought would know something. But actually, I realized when I met them, they also lived with a lot of unhappiness and uncertainty in, as well. So it made me decide in life, I'm going to look for these deeper answers. And as I began to be an adult, I did all sorts of things. I practiced all these different spiritual modalities. I did all sorts of religion, studied the books, self-help books, everything to try to heal my mind. But still, I was living with all of these uncertainties. I had stress and anxiety, and I couldn't really truly find those answers. And so I remember in the year of 2010, I heard about the Mayan calendar ending in 2012. I began to become very concerned about the fate of our world. I became concerned about my own fate. And so I really prayed. I was really needing to find something as soon as possible. Find this meaning of life. And actually at the end of the year 2010, I heard there was a place where I could come free of all of my stress and anxiety. And so I urgently went to this place. And actually they showed me how I could come free of all of the roots of my stress and anxiety, find my original nature and live with knowing the true meaning of life. And something that was so different than any place that I had gone before was that I felt extremely comfortable when I got there. People were so sincere and kind. And I, I realized this is such a different place than I had been anywhere before. And then what they told me about where humans are living, they're living inside of a fake world that is incomplete inside of their mind. And that is why we haven't been able to live with that true happiness. And so everything they told me made so much sense. And the first thing they told me is that humans are living as an automatic camera. So our body is just like a camera device. Cameras take pictures and print into the film, but for humans, for us, we're taking pictures and we're imprinting everything into our brain. So our body, five senses, takes pictures of everything we see gets recorded and smell, taste, hear, feel, and taking pictures of this world that is true and real 
and living inside of a copy world that is overlapping over the real world. So people just ate this world into their mind and making a living inside of their own mind's world. That mind world inside of this brain is not actuality. It is an illusion. So people are not actually living in the world truly. They're constantly living dictated by what they have taken into their mind stored as pictures. These pictures have no life. So that is why there's no true living consciousness within humans' mind. It's all filled and stored with this picture and that's why it gets all clouded up with stress and anxiety. So we're not actually truly being able to live in the world. And that is why it is incomplete. Sin itself, what it is, is just humans turning their back on this world. It's God, it's true. And eating the world into the mind and even taking pictures of one's own self living inside of that false world, inside of its own mind's world, even the false self is inside of there. So discarding all that illusionary world and even the self that lives in there, even that false self completely in that false world, when you throw and discard all this away, that is repentance. And you can discard all of that false mind, which is composed of all of the life that one has lived. This is a karma. We have habits and body as well. When this is all eliminated, one will arrive at the true world. When one is born from this true world, one can live with heaven, paradise existing within one's mind. This is the real meaning of life. We are meant to live with that heaven and paradise within always. So human mind is composed of this life lived, which is all the pictures we've taken since childhood, growing up, elementary school, middle school, high school, all of the life, work life, social life, getting married, having children, getting old. Everything is stored inside of a person's mind and it's all stored as pictures. They're living inside of those pictures and also being living inside of these habits which are inherited. These are the root causes of diseases and illnesses physically and mentally. When all the illusionary things that come out from the mind, which are these habits, when this is eliminated and the body is also eliminated, one can arrive at this true world. And one born from that true world, one can live with heaven, paradise existing with it, within them. So when all of that false world for, disappeared from me, I realized there was absolutely nothing, nothing. My mind became this infinite, peaceful mind, which is this universe. And actually, I can know this everlasting mind that will never disappear. This is the state of heaven. Actually knowing heaven is here. This is the state of nirvana, that paradise is existing within the mind. And when it exists within the mind, it exists in this world. This is truly a miracle. We can know and have this while we're alive. So all of that false world and me, which is an illusion, disappears. One can go back to this mind of the origin, which is always living. When born from here, one can live forever. The mind that is eternal, this is the meaning of life. We need to know it while we're alive. And so since knowing this, it is an absolute miracle. Actually, I can live with this peaceful mind every day, so resilient from all the stresses and worries. Actually, my mind is always okay, no matter what. So it is always happy because there's no pain, no stress, all of it is gone. And actually really knowing the meaning of life, knowing the answers and principles of nature and understanding the Bible, the Buddha Sutras, all those things were written from here. So when your mind returns to there, actually you can know the true state of all things. So knowing this wisdom, actually since then, there has been nothing more important I've realized than sharing this peace and happiness with others that everybody can actually live with this kind of mind within them as well. So I've been guiding meditation and helping people to understand this true mind that can exist within us at all times. So this has made life extremely meaningful. 
So when you throw away all of that false world and the false me that lives there, one can arrive at this true world. The true world exists within your mind. And so having that is when you can actually know what is true and what is false. But when seen from here, you cannot really truly know what is true, what is false. Everything just is clouded up by this mind world. So it is more important than ever that we can find that within us now. And even as people come to meditate, you know, they commonly come to seek it out because of their stress and anxiety and worries. Even for me, that's ultimately why I came at first and also looking for the meaning of life. But, you know, even I'm so thankful to let them know that there's so much more than just becoming stress free through meditation. You can actually get to know all the meanings of the world. You can actually get all the answers to your curiosities. You will find everything it's meant to be existing within you. But because the mind is all clouded over by this human mind world, that is why it's not there. So I can let them know to see and know God, paradise, Buddha, Allah, this existence is what we've called all these things. This existence is what is the universe. This is the emptiness of the universe. It has existed forever before. It's existing right now. It will continue to exist forever after. This existence is truth. It will never change. It will never disappear. And that is why we need to know it while we're living. This existence is found within us when we cleanse the mind. So if one can actually throw away all the false self that lives inside of that false world, all the illusionary self, one can arrive at the state of knowing God, Buddha, Allah, have this truth, paradise within, one can have heaven within. There is nothing more important than that. It is really the most important thing in life to know that true mind within always when we're living. So people possess only these false things inside of their mind, which create endless suffering and pain. And that's why God, Buddha, Allah does not exist in this mind and neither does the true world. So when you throw away all that false illusionary mind world, you can go back to the mind that is always alive, that is always truth. When you're born from this existence, you can see and know God, have paradise, have heaven within your mind. So definitely you can do this because if I could do it, anyone can do this. You know, if we just live and die, people just live just how many years? If we don't know this true mind within, the consciousness actually does not know where to go. So it's more important than ever to find this true mind within us now. Because if we just live within this false mind, it does not have any true living consciousness. It cannot have the heaven within the mind, even when we go. So now we must find that existence within us now. There is actually a way, and just like when there is a technology in the world, we can use it. Even now, our world has greatly advanced and we have all the technology to use, right? And so now we actually have the technology to awaken ourselves completely. This is that time. We really can actually become an enlightened being, a righteous person at this time. There is nothing more important than finding that. That is the true meaning of life. And so when you have that meaning within you, you can actually live the most meaningful life and do something that is truly of value and of worth and that will be everlasting to this world. So I really encourage you and invite you, if you would like to also find the true meaning of life, please email me at discoverthebestlife at gmail.com. I look forward to connecting with you all and thank you so much for listening today take care everybody and let's be well let's live well i truly hope that you can find the most meaningful life in the world thank you